Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Terror. Hello, Libra, and welcome to Sexy Tarot. Libra, this will be your edition of Sexy Hairs a Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Libra, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Libra, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher, Feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Libra, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and moon placements. There's a link to a free natal chart on the about page of my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accept to be a cash app at dollar sign sexy tamra. All right, Libra, I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. This is intended to be a general reading for August the 16th through the 31st, 2021. Let me get you the scoop. Spirit, what energies are surrounding Libra for August 16th through the 31st? What energies are surrounding Libra for August 16th through the 31st? Spirit, what energies are surrounding Libra August 16th through the 31st? What energies are surrounding Libra August 16th through the 31st? Libra, I don't know what you manifested. Spirit, what energies are surrounding Libra August 16th through the 31st? What energies are surrounding Libra August 16th through the 31st? What energies are surrounding Libra August 16th through the 31st? What energies? They must want the right card. Mm -hmm. Libra, at the bottom of the deck, the reason for your reading today is surrender. Surrender. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, yes, it's happening. Yes, it's happening. Let go of control issues. Okay, you tired. I know you tired, Libra. You like, you know, how much longer? How much longer? Surrender to the process because, honey, it's in the works. At the bottom of the deck, you have higher perspective, sacred sexuality, and movement. And Libra, you feel like somebody snaked you. You felt like somebody was moving real funny around you. Mm -hmm. This was somebody you was intimate with, with the sexual union card. But you see things from a higher perspective. It's almost like you, listen, Libra, you got pissed. You felt like you couldn't shake this person. This person had a hold on you, but it wasn't growing. And finally, you realize, you know what? I need to put myself first. And... You finally, I think you broke free. You broke free. You just let go of control issues. You like, I give up. Not in a bad way, because you about to see what I mean. But this sparks your transformation. Libra, you have the sovereign. You have the sovereign. And whatever you saw from a higher perspective, higher perspective, elevated you it puts you ahead of the game you need to look at whatever this is from a higher perspective because you leveling up but something had a hold on you didn't it spirit libra is a sovereign why is the sovereign here for libra why is the sovereign here period I don't blame you, Libra. 
at the bottom of the deck, you have rejection, creativity, and intuition. And Libra, your intuition told you that something, somebody was moving funny, something wasn't right. They was manipulating the situation. And you know what you said? Bye. You said bye. Anything that's manipulating you or trying to, like, um persuade you or coerce you and go against your better judgment because you listening to your intuition it's like you sovereign you see everything from a higher perspective like they can't get one over on you libra you have balance you have balance that's your card libra yes you are emotionally balanced you're not letting anybody or anything any situation knock you from your your you're thrown. Because you see things from a higher perspective, okay? And you letting go of control issues. You like, all right, well, whatever going to be, going to be. Ain't no need to me trying to fix something that don't need to be fixed. And if it ain't working, it ain't working. Period. Spirit. Libra is emotionally balanced. It's like a miracle is happening. Libra is being uplifted to a higher perspective. Damn, I'm hearing karma. Like somebody got their karma. I don't know why I hear somebody got their karma. At the bottom of the deck, you have received control and home. And Libra, yup, you tried to make them comfortable. Whatever this is, you tried to make it comfortable, tried to make it feel safe, but somebody didn't want to take what you was given. They wanted to control the way, they wanted to control when y'all was together, control the outcome, control when y'all saw each other, control, maybe this is a micromanager at work. And when it started messing with your comfortability, your safety net of you getting what you deserve, you was like, when I see surrender, that's like let go of control issues. You like, uh -uh, I'm gonna let this go. I, 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 I ain't trying to control the outcome no more, and I ain't letting nobody control me anymore. Cause I see things from a higher perspective. Libra, you had me everyone. You had me everyone. This person was your match. You met your match. Mm hmm. It's like, and when you think about it, why well, I'm hearing the tables turn. Exactly what they did to you, and I don't even think it was vindictive. You did to them. You was like, we gonna balance this out. We gonna balance this out. If it's good for you, it's good for me. You don't want it, I don't want it. You ain't working, I ain't working. We gonna make this fair. You get it. You like you ain't slighting me. Mm 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 mm. You just let go. <laughs> Spirit. Libra is reflecting. It seems like Libra met their match. And then Libra feel whole. You know, Libra is synchronizing their life. Period. Period. At the bottom of the deck, you have the writer. You have the rain and you have the bear. And Libra, this you find your courage, your strength, your determination to move past these obstacles. This was the damn bird. And somebody kept making you wait, taking you through the same things on a different day. This was the cycle. They come, they go. They inconsistent. They come, they go. And this is what you was thinking about. It had you confused for a minute because it had p potential to level up, right? But you rose above this situation and you said, I'm out. I'm not, I'm not repeating this pattern no more. This, the, you know, you're not going to have me stuck in this vicious circle. And with this thought card, you leveled up. You left that person right where they was at. Here y'all was equally yoked. 
But you like, no, because it's like you staying here. You don't want to stay here. You want to be uplifted with the sovereign card. Okay? So this wasn't fair to you. It wasn't an equal give and take. Somebody else was getting more. And it wasn't fair. So you know what you did? You said, you know what? I'm not staying here. You thought about it. I'm not staying here in this situation. I, I need to level up. I need to level up. I need to heal. Because when you thought about it, this caused you some damn pain. Yeah. You searched your emotions. And you was like, I'm better than this. That's what I'm hearing. I'm better than this. Spirit. Libra realized they was better than this situation. They leveled up. Something wasn't an equal give and take. So Li Libra flew the coop. Tell me about this for Libra. Period. Yeah, you was like, uh-uh, that's some at the bottom of the deck. You had financial and material changes, universe, and fulfillment of wishes. And this you Libra like standing on your truth, like, wait a minute. My my dreams matter. My emotions matter. What I want to grow matter. Why am I standing here? I'm going after my wish fulfillment. So you left something out in the cold. This is my five of pentacles. You ended it with that universe card. That's my world card energy. Some of you are done with a fixed sign, such as an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Taurus. you like, that's over. I'm going after my happiness. You putting in the work for you to heal you. And when you leveled up, because see, there was some sort of reconciliation here. It was with some friends, some family, or a lover. It was some celebration, some good times. Y'all was having cocktails and some shit. And it could have been a third party. But you was like, I'm better than this. That's what I keep hearing. I'm better than this. Some of y'all, if y'all were um just going with somebody or dating somebody, y'all got into a commitment. But some of you who were already in a commitment, y'all got married. But somebody like, no, we won't we won't level this thing up. Spirit, tell me about this rejoicing celebration for Libra. It looked like Libra having a damn good time. Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. Boop. Boop. At the bottom of the deck, you have co-create. You have thinker, and you have deep knowing. And deep inside, Libra, deep inside, you already knew the answers. You did. You wise. And you fit. You was thinking, can I build with this person? Is this going to work? Can we work together? Because this you already knowing on the aisle, and this is you right here in the middle. But this, whoever this is, they head turn. They not changing. A leopard don't change their spots. Because they sitting there thinking, this person, whoever this is, they was trying to figure out if this could work. But you already knew the answers. Somebody just sat there thinking and didn't do shit. That ain't you. You the I. And so Libra, you tried to rebuild this. It's something that was old, that was dead and gone, that was dark and gloomy, brought you pain. And you tried to transform it and come back together with it. See if it could level up. But I'm hearing you say, I'm better than this. I don't know why I'm hearing, I'm better than this. It's like you saying, mm-mm, you had to end something, something so something new could come in here. I'm telling you, but if y'all was just in the going together, y'all got married. But some of y'all, y'all ended something was like, I'm better than this. Let me get some tarot. 
I'm better than this. That's what I keep hearing. I'm better than this. Like you let go of all control issues. Whatever gonna be, just won't be. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit. Libra was happy to reconcile with somebody. Thought they was gonna rebuild something. But somebody didn't want to change. Somebody didn't want to be fair. Tell me about this rebuilding and this reconciliation that's out here. They were at three of cups again. At the bottom of the deck, you have the page of wine, string, and the knight of coins. And what you told tell me, Libra, is some of you are dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Others of you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And some of you are dealing with a Leo with the strength card. And you like, sexy, this wasn't going nowhere. August 16th through the 31st, this, there's no movement. You, you're not sending no messages. You stand in your gram. You don't want no fresh start. But Libra, somebody approaching you. I want you to know they're approaching you. It's an earth sign possibly. They're approaching you. They're moving a little slow. Because they want something with you. But you like, what? You might bite their damn head off. When they come in and talk to you, you might bite they damn head off. And with this three of cups, this three of cups, because that's what I'm, I'm clarifying. Somebody was trying to rebuild and reconnect, but it was a secret, something you ain't know about. This person was high in something. Yeah, they might have sent you this correspondence in, in secret to rebuild. That's what I'm hearing. It was something underhanded about it. And selfish with this nine of coins. You still felt alone after this. Somebody like, listen, ain't you tired of being without me? I'm tired of being without you. Let's fix this and come together. Let's, let's make it right. Some of y'all done with a burger. They was like, let's make this right. Let's rebuild this. And you wanted this to be equally yoked. That's all I keep hearing. But I'm better than this. I don't know why I'm hearing it. I'm better than this. Because you letting go of control issues. Let's clarify this three of cups. Spirit, what was this three of cups about? Because somebody was having drinks and shit. What was this three of cups about? Yeah, I knew it. It ain't work out the way somebody thought it was going to work out. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Emperor. Some of you are dealing with Aries or Taurus. You had Death. Some of you are dealing with Scorpio. And you had a Knight of Swords. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, NG. And you are pissed off. You are pissed off. Somebody tried to control how this was going to go. They was. It was it was like an ending waiting to happen. And you angry. And I think you cursed this person out. I think you told them about themselves. And took control over the situation. And when they was trying to rebuild it, you ended it like no. Because I keep hearing, I'm better than this. I don't know why I'm hearing it. I'm better than this. And it's three of cups. Yeah, with this temperance card, some of you dealing with a Sagittarius. Somebody wanted to reconcile. And let me look at this card. They were trying to negotiate with you, compromise with you. But what's all this time that's needed? It took a long time for this to happen. And y'all was trying to figure out how this was going to work, negotiate and compromise and work this out. But it didn't work with this tower card. The whole roof got blown off. Some of you dealing with the Aries and Scorpio. It didn't work. I'm thinking the time has passed. The time has passed. Like, mm -mm. It's, it's, it's Libra. 
you have the alchemist the alchemist and this is you libra knowing exactly what you want manifesting it you got all the tools you need you have everything you need and you determined to get what you want you determined to have what it is you manifested this is you manifesting it and this is it, it now in the universe being structured and built because you determined because you like mm -mm, it's something just for me that's going to balance me out it's something just for me because you were settling in love you settle for something smaller and i keep hearing i'm better than this some of you want to move some of you want to move. Somebody feel like they need to um, put certain things in order before they can level up. But this is my towel card and this is my towel card. And you was like, I'm not settling for this. You was. Because with these obstacles and challenges, it was too hard. Where was you going to go? It was a trap waiting to happen. That shit ain't stable. Somebody wasn't putting it in the work. It's that like five of pentacles. I'm sorry, five of swords energy because this is blue. Somebody was being manipulative, being petty and shit. And that's what took this up. This was tore this damn. Two fives. So you ended it with this orphan. You felt by yourself. You felt by yourself and you felt like this person was trying to make you settle for this nothing. It was nothing. And they was trying to make you be happy with this. And you was like, no. Uh -uh. You was like, no. This might be the five of wands. But I know you was like, no, it's too much going on here. Somebody ain't got their shit together. And you like, no, I'm determined to have what's old to me. This is, mm -mm, I'm not going for this. This would have been a setback. This would have been a setback. Spirit. Libra left something behind that was a burden. Libra is strong and independent. They have everything they need. And they're determined to get what they want. Tell me about it. Yep. You like, fuck this. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Wands, the King of Coins, and the Ace of Swords. And there's you, Libra, coming in like, mm -mm, I'm going to make this decision for both of us. We about to have this conversation. I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't know what it is you over here protecting and guarding. I don't know what secrets you got, but all I know is you sitting down on the job, and you ain't doing what you're supposed to do. And some of you were dealing with a uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy with this King of Coins. And they was guarding it. They was taking a sweet ass time sitting down and you was like, no, no. So you spoke your truth and you rose up and you said, look, like, cause this been going on too long. And with this four of swords energy, you was like losing sleep at night. You know what I mean? Because this hurts you. It had you down. But you was resting on the truth. You knew the truth all along. And you was like, I'm not fighting for this no more. And with this three of wands energy, you, you heal, you recharge. And you like, you know what? I'm going to look to see what else out there because it's something better for me. Like, I'm better than this. I'm better than this. And with this five of cups energy, you realize, like, this is a missed opportunity. This shit ain't going nowhere. I'm just wasting my time. And I'm determined to have what I want. But your ships is here, Libra. Let's look into this five of cups. 
<laughs> no, screw that. Cause this is a dumb deal. You got three fives here. You definitely had to change something. You had to stop giving to something. You were sacrificing too much. Tell me about this three of wands, because your ships are here. Tell me about this three of wands for Libra. I see it. Mm. Mm. Something here for you. This had to go. This wasn't meant for you. Mm. Because your ships is here. And I wanted to know what's here for you. And I'm about to tell you. At the bottom of the deck, you had the five of pentacles, the high priestess, and the and karma. And this was you making that ultimate decision. You ain't even, you, you did it quietly too. You ended something real quiet. Some of you done with Scorpio twice. You made a decision to abandon something. You, you crept away real quiet. You wasn't giving it your energy, nothing. This was your ultimate decision. And when you did that, that karma card, that ju judgment card, when you did that, you sparked a will, a fortune to spend in your favor to get what it is you manifested. Your ships are here. And I ask people, what's your, what's, what ships are here for you? Your happiness with the sun card? Some of you are pregnant. Your happiness. You feel free. Now somebody about to write you a letter and speak their truth. They're about to reveal something to you. Somebody is about to send you some correspondence. Tell you the truth about a possibility of working on a team. This could involve work. But it's it's a collaboration, and this won't make you happy. This person is bringing in this Ace of Cups, this blessing. So somebody right now has this blessing they want to give you. It could be new love, a new job. It could be a child. But this is a blessing. And this blessing, somebody is writing you right now to tell you the truth. That's going to make you happy. That's the ships that's here for you. This blessing. Libra. You had the sage. The sage. It was like trying to talk to this person or what deal with, with whatever this is. It was confusing. But you already knew the answer. It was like you had to pull this person's teeth. Because they were so guarded. Protecting themselves. And all they was doing was causing confusion causing confusion you wasn't having it though you like you can't confuse me you let go of control issues like whatever won't be won't be I just saw for some of you this person is near your ex or ex side of your life you could have blocked them Libra, you have fertility. There's a new star here. Fresh ideas that you manifest is about to grow. This is about to grow. There's something you manifested. It's about to grow. It's time. It's time. Things about to change. This is what you manifested. You had to leave it something behind in order to have this manifestation. <clears throat> this is something you've been working on for a while. The seeds are growing. And with the six of cups, the past wants to come back. This can have to do with your children. Your past feels alone. They have all this regret and they only want to level up. Somebody want to come back and express their love. They want to make some changes in this connection because they feel like y'all meant to be. But I don't think you're trying to hear it now. Because this person hurt you too much. But 
But you happy. You getting what it is you want. I heard a noise. Sorry about that. It's like you know you got to protect your energy because you got all this abundance coming in. Spirit, Libra feels like they have to protect their energy August 16th through the 31st. You want them to protect their energy because their abundance is here. It's something they manifested. Why? It looks like there's somebody trying to come in from the past because they feel like they belong with Libra. Tell me about it. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Swords, the Two of Cups, and Temperance. And this is somebody, possibly a Sagittarius, that wants to reconcile with you. But you got all these miracles. You're going to make this person wait. And they strategically trying to get back in your good graces. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius or a Cancer. But I have a feeling you healing and working on yourself. And somebody here trying to creep back in. This person is a liar. There's a liar in your midst. There's a liar in your midst. And you intuitively know it. And that's why you don't want to be protecting your energy. And with this Ace of Swords, you know the truth. Every time you reconcile with this person, it brings you regrets. You feel alone. But the truth is, is you got everything you need. You got clarity about your situation and your passions. But now somebody want to fight, fight for this and heal this. They want to take action. But you feel like this person is manipulative. But now they feel like y'all belong together. And they ready to fight for this. Because you're not doing anything. You just chilling. I want to know what this five of swords is. I want to know if they trying to manipulate the truth. Or if it look like they want to fight for this, this person got war pain on Tell me about this five of swords, but you're not trying to hear it. Because your abundance here and you protecting it. It's like you you feel better. You change. You, and they trying to come in with this offer. Tell me about this five of swords. Yeah, see, they still manipulative. But you know the truth. You see the truth. And this is why you like, mm-mm. Because this person is still in the seven of swords energy. At the bottom, it's like they just don't want you to leave. At the bottom of the deck, you have the six of pentacles, the ace of wands, and the ace of pentacles in reverse. And you feel like you can't count on this. Because this in reverse, you can't count on this. You feel like all this person got for you is a good old wine. And they probably giving that wine to somebody else. And you feel like, mm -mm, I, I'm not benefiting from this. And this five of swords, I wanted to know if they were manipulating or fighting for the connection. No, they sabotaging it because they confused and they got other options. And that looked like the magician down there to me. See, remember I say I want to know if they manip being manipulative? That's the magician down there. This person is sabotaging this because they got other options. They manipulative. And they don't give you enough information to make a decision with this two of swords. This person is confused. You could have blocked them. And with the same man energy, some of you dealing with a Pisces, and you like, you're not doing shit. The manipulation is this person still is not going to give to this connection. This person is still confused. They still don't know what they want. They just don't want to lose you. They just don't want you to leave because you left. You left them. And you won't protect your energy. Let me get you some advice for this reading. But you like, uh-uh, 
No, I'm letting go of control issues. I'm letting go of this. I surrender. I'm tired. Like, this eyeball look just so damn tired to me. Like, what the hell you want? Why are you here? And then somebody ready to give in to the connection. But truthfully, they still not ready. Spirit, what advice you have for Libra regarding this reading? What advice you have for Libra regarding this reading? Thank you. For some of y'all, this is definitely a Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. Spirit, what advice do you have for Libra regarding this connection? What advice do you have for Libra regarding this connection? Like you gave too much to this already. And it's like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm done. Spirit, what advice do you have for Libra regarding this connection? Libra. Spirit says, Knight, be brave and honest. Be brave. And honest. Be brave and honest. Because, see, Libra, you kept biting your tongue. You kept biting your tongue. And this person could have knocked your self-esteem down a little bit. Or you might have been walking on eggshells with this person. Spirit like you're good enough. Some of you are done with a Virgo. Spirit like be brave and honest. You good enough? Like, this shit ain't working for you. And you forgive this person. Let them know I forgive you, but this ain't working for me. This only worked for you. And I deserve more. Because I keep hearing, I'm better than this. I'm better than this. Libra. Spirit is saying, air guardian is you, love. Shift your perspective. Spirit is saying to shift your perspective. And love is and, and luck is on your side. Some of you are done with Sagittarius. But I'm looking at that crown. And spirit like, mm -mm, look at this from a whole nother perspective. Helpful people. It's like somebody is telling this person. They're going to come in and probably tell you, I was talking to such and such. And they told me I should come talk to you to fix this. But you look like you ain't trying to hear that shit. You not. Because you got what you want. Either way. And, and, and spirit is like, no, tell this person the truth. Be brave and honest. Tell them the whole truth. But don't be bitter because you got what you want. You know what I mean? This person might need your help. Libra. Spirit is seen with this earth guardian. Stay rooted and grounded. Because whatever this person come to tell you, they come to pour their heart out. And it was a long time coming, child. Stay rooted and grounded. Because something going to piss you off. Because you already know the truth. You already know the truth. And this might be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. With Leo placements. And spirit like stay rooted and grounded. Don't let this get in your way. Don't let pride get in your way. If it's a Leo, don't let them get in your way. Because you healing right now. You healing right now. With this recovery. And see... It's something you was working on, and it's successful. It's successful. And Spirit is saying, don't let this person come in and mess this shit up. Because deep inside, you already know what's going on. Honor your inner knowing. Deep inside, you already know what's going on. And Spirit is like, mm-mm. Honor your, honor your deeper knowing and set your sights higher. Set your sights higher. 
because you deserve more. And I'm telling you from the beginning of the read, and I got, I'm better than this. I'm better than this. And, mm -mm, honey, this had to happen. Let go of the control issues. Just get into the process. See things from a higher perspective. Because it was time for whatever this was to exit stage left. So that all your abundance and manifestations could come in. Libra, Libra, Libra. This has been your edition of Sexy Hairs to Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Libra. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload another video, peace Libra and congratulations. Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra and Scorpio are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces are the number one subscribers wondering what sexy sees. You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Terror.